Hello, Arena. This is Lacey Cass, your official caster for today. The first T3 Olympics are here. In this video, we're going to compare 10 heroes against each other and see who runs the fastest. In T3 Arena, speed matters. Whether you're chasing after an opponent, fleeing, or need to get back to battle after respawning, speed really matters. Now, in this race, heroes are allowed to use their active and passive abilities. Their ultimates will also be pre-charged so that we get the fastest performance out of everyone. In case you didn't know before, with the current hero balance, all heroes at T3 Arena has the exact same movement speed except Yap. She moves a tiny bit faster, but is she the fastest? Let's find out now. Without further ado, on your marks, get set, go! Gloria vs Hunter With her passive ability, dashing, Gloria can speed up all the way to the checkpoint. Hunter, on the other hand, uses his active ability, Flare Around, to get temporary speed boosts. He gets up to 4 boosts in his track. In this race, Hunter wins against Gloria by a small margin of 1 second. Elena vs Elena This is an interesting comparison. Her first ultimate, Decoy Bomb, boosts her speed by 60%. Her second ultimate, Hollow Burst, only gives her a boost of 50%, but for a longer period of time. In this race, her second ultimate outpaced her own first. This brings us to the next comparison, which is Aleta versus Ya. Aleta keeps moving forward with Hollow Dash by three times and pops her second ultimate to accelerate. Ya is very straightforward. She just keeps using Wind Swift to dash forward three times in a row. In this race, Ya outpaced Aleta by a margin of one second. Johnny Jet vs Shell Johnny Jet can keep leaping forward with his active ability, Veil of Chaos. Shell speeds up with Shadow Walk and then teleport with Dimension Rift to just keep walking altogether. But Johnny Jet managed to arrive slightly faster by about 700 milliseconds. Diggy vs Kazama It's an interesting group because Diggy dives while Kazama flies. Diggy moves very fast by diving three times in a row. On the other hand, Kazama flies and is dragged far away to the ground. In this race, Diggy's short ability cooldown helped her arrive at the checkpoint 2 seconds faster. Jabali vs Victor With Arc Storm, Jabali charges forward by spinning around, but Victor's second ultimate ramming speed is the clear winner. He just go berserk all the way to the checkpoint. In this race, Victor doesn't only win against Jabali, but he also wins against Ya by a super small margin of 100 milliseconds. And that declares Victor as the true winner in this round of T3 Olympics. Now this is how you run! Thank you for watching the first T3 Olympics. Hope you enjoyed this feed. Thumbs up and subscribe if you like this content. It means a lot to us. And what other types of Olympics do you want to see in the future? Drop a comment below and we'll make more of these Olympic videos. Is your official caster, Lazy Cass, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!